Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys can hear the audio now. Okay. So the latest news is uh, unemployment claims uh, fell uh, by twelve thousand. Okay, so it's not that much. Uh, basically, uh, jobs are being created. You know, unemployment rates are falling. Uh, seems to work. Okay, the reopening seems to be working. Uh, however, okay, uh, there's one piece of data I want you guys to look at, right, is the hospitalizations. Uh, you shouldn't look at how many is tested positive, but you want to see the hospitalizations. Okay. Uh, we want to see a snapshot of this. This is very really important. It's not working. I wonder why. Uh, so basically, it seems to be increasing as a whole. The new numbers, okay. Hospitalization seems to be increasing also. Okay, uh, basically this is another wave. Okay, another wave is coming in. Uh, we are more or less, right, if we extrapolate this, this is about 40% to 50% of the previous wave, right? The height of this is about 40% to 50%, 40% roughly, to the previous wave, okay? Uh, I believe this will continue to rise, okay? And when it rises pretty high, there is a problem, right? Uh, the problem is... Uh, the problem is... How do I say this? The, pro the problem with this is, you know, the more people get hospitalized, the more, uh, what do you call it, the more hospitals are being strained, okay, and there's more higher likely chance for a lockdown, okay, but on the other hand, okay, we see the data, the data looks good, right? Unemployment claim seems to be uh, trodding, prodding, uh, prodding along nicely. Okay, this is not a very clear picture. Okay, the the better a better picture is the unemployment rate, right? Unemployment rates is uh, take a look at the five years. Okay, the employment rate is basically quite low. It's five point four. Okay, uh, about the same as September two thousand sixteen. We are back to two thousand sixteen, right? Roughly there. It's going to keep dropping as create more jobs. Okay. But uh, don't forget. Okay. Uh, what created this situation in the first place? Is the. It's this. Right. Hospital capacity. So you, 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 you guys still have to watch out for this. This is very important. Right. This is very important. Okay. So there's one thing to note, okay, even though uh, January 2021 has the highest hospitalization, right, unemployment rate, okay, the economy seems to be reopening, okay, uh, the economy seems to be reopening. So basically, right, uh, how do I say this, the uh, economy is still reopening, they are proceeding with it, right, so this is a possible uh, disturbance within the system, okay? 
uh, this is a possible disturbance within the system. Well, uh, hopefully they manage. We manage to solve this. There is no more. Uh, what do you call it? There's no more lockdowns. But I believe if this keeps going up in an alarming rate, they will lock it down. Okay, because it's, it's a new strain. Right. The problem with this COVID, right? The new strains. Once you get hit with, let's say, the beta beta strain, you should be immune to it. But if it evolves to a delta strain, then you won't be that immune to it, right? And according to Israel, the vaccine is about forty percent. Okay, efficacy is only about forty percent. Even Pfizer is about forty percent. So we and they they also claim that hey we don't know okay we know that you know uh, the longer the resting period from the vaccine efficacy wanes with it right so antibody goes down efficacy goes down this is not something this is not something that is unexpected is expected right so what happens booster shots right booster shots will keep happening. This is why Moderna shares has been going up on a rampage. Because, hey, if every three months or every six months, everyone in the world has to do booster shots, that is goddamn good business, man. Goddamn good business, okay? It's a goddamn good business, right? Every six months, vaccine. Every six months, vaccine. Every six months, vaccine. Damn, that's good business for you. Okay, so every six months, everyone in the world needs a vaccine, right? And they'll be like, okay, that is more infections, more money, okay? So, uh, at the end of the day, we want to find out a few things, right? What is the Fed going to do, okay? Is the Fed going to uh, taper off the bond purchases or reverse are, is there, are they going to stop QE, quantitative easing, or are they going to reverse it? Okay, taper means you don't stop, you stop buying, right? Because uh, one of the Fed chairman talked about it, right? Uh, Robert Kaplan, Mr. Robert Kaplan, one of the Fed chairman from Kansas, right? Uh, he's talking about the bond taper, so basically. You know, maybe we shouldn't be buying 120 billion of uh, 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 bonds, right, or T bills every month, right? Maybe we should only buy 30, right? So what will happen? Uh, rates will go up, right? Dividend stocks will come down, bonds prices will come down. Okay, so this is something that you should that we should be expecting, right? We should be expecting this. We should not not expect it, right? We shouldn't be like, oh my God, they they are ta tapering the tapering the bond purchases. Oh my God, they are reversing QE. Oh my God, they are stopping QE. Oh my God, they are stopping the the money pump, right? Okay, so you shouldn't be surprised they are stopping the money pump because uh, from May to June, there wasn't much of a pump, pump anymore. Okay, in fact, it's more or less almost flat. Okay, so we shouldn't be surprised. Okay, if you are surprised, that's shame on you, right? Okay, so don't be surprised if there is a reverse QE, right? If there is a reverse QE, if there is a some kind of stoppage, some kind of tapering. Okay, so. Uh, disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. All these are opinions. All opinions. You can act on whatever my opinion at your own risk, okay? So I'm not telling you to go all in with my opinions, right? So, uh, the question is, right? Very simple question, right? When is the Fed going to raise rates? Okay, because if one guy is thinking of tapering in September or October, okay, when are they going to raise? Okay, they 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 did give you a hint, 
when this goes down to an acceptable level. What is an acceptable level? Okay. So this is a very tricky time for the 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 Fed. Okay, why is this not working? Okay, this is going. Okay, this is money supply. Okay, so we can see money supply. Now this is unemployment rate. Okay, unemployment rate. Okay, so we want to know. Okay. What is an acceptable unemployment rate for uh, for the USA, right? So, trolling, trolling along about five percent seems to be, you know, acceptable, right? They are probably going to start increasing rates when this is about four. In my honest opinion, right? Why are they going to start increasing rates when this is about four? Inflation. Okay, inflation has already happened, right? So at four percent, they are going to start uh, increasing rates. This is my opinion. Okay, they are not going to wait four percent; they're going to start increasing rates, right? Okay, for four point eight, they are going to start to taper. They are going to taper it. Okay, so they are already stopping the increase of the money supply. Okay. They are not they are not printing any more money. So next question. Uh, what should we as investors do? Right? Uh, what is going to happen when rates go up? What's going to happen when bond prices go up? Right? It's a parking space, remember? The whole game is a parking space. Whenever one asset, uh, a safe asset like treasury bonds has maybe three percent, four percent. Uh, yield okay what's going to happen is a lot of money from uh, 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 a lot of cash right a lot of cash will will move from dividend stocks to uh, these treasury bonds okay this is one thing for sure I can guarantee you a lot of cash will move okay so basically yeah it will move okay so basically, this is my own opinion, right? Uh, although it may be a bit counterintuitive, but S and P five hundred is going to experience a correction. Okay, a Fed induced correction. Okay, it's not going to be a plunge, but it's going to be a correction. What about commodities? Commodities uh, should drop. Okay, gold has started to drop. Okay, a lot of people are talking about gold, and the reason why gold drop is because a lot of the people are buying U.S. dollars. They believe that the U.S.A. will uh, buy, not buy. The U.S.A. is going to raise rates soon. This is why gold dropped, right? So remember, everybody talk about this. Everybody was saying, okay, gold is going to drop because USA is going to raise rates, okay? So during uh, March 30th, right, if we take a look at the 10-year treasuries during March 30th, okay? What's the 10-year treasury, 10-year treasury? 10-year bond, March 30th. March 30th, March 30th, March 30th. Okay. And the March 30th, right, we can see that uh, Treasury yields was going 1.7. Okay. That is when gold started to drop. Right. Okay, March 30th is about here, right? The blue line is gold, okay? We saw during the highs, it dropped, right? And when it starts to drop, 
when st the rate starts going down, it goes up. Okay. It starts to recover a bit. Okay. Gold seems to be trading about this range. Right. There's a certain range that gold trades at from this range to this range. Okay. So if this goes up again, this will come down. Okay. So what made it go down? Okay. Unemployment rate was good. Okay, so if you are doing gold, right, and you are thinking that, hey, let's short gold because this is going back up, right? When it goes back up, this will come down a little bit. Okay, so I do not recommend that anything can happen, right? Uh, anything can happen, okay? Remember, we still have the delta variant. Remember, we still have this. So, as of now, I am not certain in the short term even what the hell is going to happen, honestly. Okay. Uh, I am still buying into companies that I think is cheap, right? Companies like AT&T, I think is still a decent bet, right? Uh, I'm starting to collect a little bit of Groupon because I think it has a good chance of turning around if Okay, a little bit a very small tiny percentage of my portfolio Okay, so the next right uh, Geo I already sold During it when we when it went up uh, when the short squeeze happened uh Tesla, I bought more. Oxy, I bought more during $25, $24 when it dropped. Uh, Alibaba seems to be a good bet. When they stop uh, regulating, right, it's going to go up. Okay. So, the key with Alibaba is actually... It's just... A, it's more or less to politics, so it's a little, there's a, some gambling element inside. It's quite scary, you know. It's it's quite scary, okay, because they can just make an industry suddenly. Hey, uh, this industry has to be non-profit, and you are screwed, okay. Okay, now uh, talking about Coinbase, Coinbase, right? A lot of people are talking about Coinbase and how it's going up and all that stuff, right? I think one of one of I saw one YouTube video. Okay, uh, he was talking about it. He said it's better to own either Bitcoin or Ethereum rather than own Coinbase. Okay, and I believe so. So yeah, I, I didn't buy any Coinbase and but I, I bought Ethereum and Bitcoin when it dropped. Okay, as my portfolio. Okay, it's still spe those those two stuff still spe considered speculative. It's, I didn't buy that much. Maybe. Uh, ten percent of my portfolio. Okay, I I I I I'm not gonna hold a lot of uh, crypto. Okay. Uh, I have a farm, right? I I have a farm. I have a farm. I have a crypto farm, right? But I already spent some money on it. I'm not gonna buy Coinbase. I'm just gonna, you know, the crypto farm is part of my uh my portfolio. Okay. Uh, so far, it's doing quite well, right? It has returned seventy-five percent of its uh, initial invested capital, right? I invested since March. Okay. Uh, if you have a crypto farm. Right, this is what I suggest. Because the price of crypto is just so, uh, how do I say this? Very wild in swings. I, j I just sell every week. Okay. I don't really trade on it. I don't have any desire to trade on cryptocurrency. I just, you know, I have a farm. I just sell every week. It's working out well, right? Uh, 
ROI is the break even point is less than one year, probably about nine months. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, if it doesn't work out, then I'm already back 75% of my capital. Okay. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but you know, 75% already back. So yeah, worst come to worst, I will just use the, 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 the GPUs to play game, right? Most of, or three of them, right? But the rest is nah, not, not, not. I'm not really keen on it. I'm not really keen on increasing my uh, exposure to uh, crypto right now. Okay, so yes, this is very important. Okay, as you can see, it does affect the prices of uh, gold. So as of now, right, everyone is in the middle I think I think everyone is more or less in the middle okay without the latest infrastructure build this will probably S&P 500 will probably go down but with the latest infrastructure build yeah okay so uh, what do I think is going to happen in the future I think, okay, the whole goddamn premise depends on, uh, depends, eventually it depends on this, okay. If this number goes out of whack and it keeps staying high, okay, it's still gonna be bad, okay. So that will be all for today. Thank you very much.